Did you know that someone in this country uses a ceasefire to successfully put out a fire every 20 minutes? And that's possible because these extinguishers are built to be fast, powerful and totally reliable. Let's go live now to the ceasefire production facility where Chief Engineer Ranganathan will demonstrate to us how ceasefire's ABC extinguisher has been designed for rapid activation and major portability, maximum power, usability on multiple classes of fire and utmost reliability. At this central offloading dock, the various components of ceasefire that we do not manufacture ourselves are received and checked. For the body of the extinguisher, for instance, we use only cold rolled closed anneal or CRCA steel sheets which are substantially stronger and less brittle than other grades of steel. These are sourced exclusively from a select list of reputed manufacturers who are in a position to offer us quality certification. We also conduct independent tests on these sheets for consistency and strength. Contrast this with the industry practice of buying steel from grey market manufacturers who are in no position to certify the quality of their merchandise. The resulting extinguisher bodies are often brittle with fault lines that may crack and leak. Moving on to ceasefire's extinguishing, the powder that puts the fire out. The active firefighting ingredient in ABC powders is a chemical called monoammonium phosphate or MAP for short. ABC powders are available in various strengths with MAP levels going from 10% up to 90%. The higher the MAP level, the greater the firefighting power. The Indian fire trade typically uses between 10% and 50% MAP in their extinguishers. Even those who claim a MAP content of 50% are often actually using adulterated powder or powder recycled from defunct extinguishers. Ceasefire extinguishers contain 90% MAP making ceasefire far more powerful in putting out fires. Ceasefire sources its ABC powder from the most reputed European suppliers whose products are tested in laboratories across the world. Ceasefire's technical team also retests the powder independently. The industry norm, on the other hand, is to buy powder at the cheapest price from small, unorganized local vendors. Very rarely do extinguisher manufacturers carry out independent tests on the powders they have sourced. Let's move on to the sourcing of the nitrogen propellant, the gas that drives the extinguishant out with a certain force. The critical factor here is purity. Low grade nitrogen could introduce moisture into the extinguishant powder causing it to cake and clog. All Indian manufacturers use commercial grade nitrogen. Ceasefire uses high grade nitrogen of a purity that prevents moisture entering the extinguishant. Take ceasefire's pressure gauge, imported from one of the world's most reputed suppliers. The world's smallest pressure gauge, just 23 millimeters in diameter, it is also remarkably easy to read. It is also the only pressure gauge in the world which can be checked even in the pressurized state with the help of a maintenance magnet. Now let's move on to the actual manufacturing and assembly process beginning with the container. The container's strength will obviously be affected by the amount of welding on the surface. More welded seams, more chance of leaking. Industry practice in the past was to weld the container all the way down its vertical length and at its top and base. In the mid-90s, ceasefire pioneered the deep drawn process where large steel sheets were formed into shape using hydraulic presses requiring no vertical welding at all. So, in this 5 kg container for instance, the potential leakage area is reduced by up to 57%. For the remaining small horizontal seams at the top and base of the container, we use a mixed CO2 welding process. 100% automated with motorized fixtures holding the container in place as an electronically guided torch performs a precise welding job. Now contrast this with the industry norm of manual welding, obviously more prone to crack and leak. Next, we have an extensive chemical pretreatment, what we call the 8 tank process. This is necessary to clean the container because deep drawing involves a lot of oil and grease. 
Besides, the steam seats are exposed to air, dust and moisture which could cause rusting. The eight tank process basically involves passing the cylinders in turn through eight massive tanks in which they are given chemical baths and then washed with water. Post this process, the cylinders are phosphated inside and out. This ensures rust proofing and enhances the extinguisher's shelf life. Next comes the powder coating process which takes place in this chamber. The uncoated container enters here where it gets electrically charged. These coated containers are then sprayed with salt water, left for a full 48 hours and examined for corrosion. Ceasefire containers undergo this test on a batch basis. Whereas, if you were to go out to any local manufacturer, you would see containers of untreated steel being sprayed with ordinary paint. Moving on to the filling of powder into the container. This fully automated powder filling process takes place in this enclosed dehumidified area. Vacuum technology is used to fill the container with powder, ensuring precise filling of powder. Getting the amount right is critical. Post filling, the container is reweighed, ensuring that the powder amount is accurate. Now contrast this with the normal process of filling the powder manually and out in the open. The powder is exposed to humidity and other atmospheric factors. Humidity can cause the powder to cake up, hindering the even flow of powder when the extinguisher is activated. Let us now move on to the production of ceasefire's valve assembly. This assembly consists of a valve housing, a brass plunger, a spring, three rubber o-rings, and a dip tube. Ceasefire's valve housing is made of extrusion grade brass rather than the cheaper, more porous casting brass. The machining process must be microscopically accurate for the valve to perfectly fit the other parts of the discharge mechanism. The smallest error can alter the ultimate performance of the extinguisher. Ceasefire's fully automated CNC machines ensure total dimensional accuracy. The O-rings, the critical parts that guard against leakage of pressure and powder, must be of exact dimensions and brittleness so as to seal off all openings entirely. Equally important, when the extinguisher is activated, there is no jamming of this plunger pin here, thus ensuring a complete discharge of powder from the extinguisher. Ceasefire uses EPDM O-rings that are far more flexible than the ordinary washers commonly used by the market. These O-rings are tested for their physical properties at independent laboratories and at ceasefire's own. Another important component of the valve is the pressure gauge. The gauge must display the correct pressure at all times. Ceasefire's pressure gauges are tested to an error ratio of no more than 2.5%. Finally, the spring is put in place. The spring enables a stop-start-stop usage pattern in our extinguisher, which in turn allows users to start operating the extinguisher, then stop to readjust the nozzle or reposition their hand for greater comfort and then start again. The spring, so critical to this action, goes through a thorough compression strength testing at ceasefire. The assembly of all the valve's components is then executed by pneumatic torque spanners eliminating errors due to manual labor, unlike the industry norm of assembling valves manually. The completed valve housing assembly is fitted on to a specially designed fixture to check all dimensions. This ingenious testing mechanism has been designed by Ceasefire's quality control team. The completed valve assembly must fit this fixture perfectly, else it is rejected by our engineers. The valve housing assembly is finally put through a leakage test. Now contrast this meticulous process with the market's use of recycled valves made of cheap brass, of O-rings that are nothing more than the common washers used in bathroom taps. These cost-cutting methods are employed to create the equipment that you depend on to save your life. Whereas with ceasefire, there is no cutting corners and no compromise. After all, it's your life at stake. The 
pin ring and pull with minimal force to trigger to discharge. The pin is made of polypropylene, a soft yet hardy plastic which can never corrode or jam and is soft on human fingers. Watch this split screen demonstration. In the time brand X takes to get activated and ready to fight a fire, ceasefire has already put out the fire. Remember, fires grow exponentially over time, which means a fire extinguisher has to be very, very fast. Two minutes slower is the difference between trying to fight the fire here and here. And finally, ceasefire's patented installer. The bracket on which the extinguisher is mounted is designed to sound an alarm as soon as the extinguisher is lifted, thus serving as both a fire alarm and an alarm to signal pilferage. The first of three quality tests is a 24-hour leak test where each extinguisher is left submerged in water for 24 hours. An uptown beaker tracks any bubbles that might escape, signaling a leak. The second is the helium detection test to detect nitrogen leakage. This involves detecting minuscule quantities of helium leakage in a vacuumized chamber. Helium is a trace gas that we inject into the extinguisher along with nitrogen in order to test for leakage more thoroughly. Every single ceasefire extinguisher is helium tested and each piece that passes the test successfully bears a certification to the effect. And the third and final test involves activating 1.5% of all finished extinguishers selected at random. Consider the cost implications. 1.5% of already extinguishers in each batch are activated, thereby rendering them entirely useless for sale. This is yet another prime example of emphasis on quality overriding cost considerations. And finally, every ceasefire ABC extinguisher carries the independent quality certifications of ISI, ISO 9001 and the Confirmité Européenne or the CE mark. Thank you. Well, that concludes our tour of the plant. As you have seen, ceasefire's ABC extinguishers are designed and assembled to measure up to a very clear five-point definition of the ideal fire extinguisher. That is to say, they activate rapidly and easily, they pack in as much power for their size as technology permits, they are safe to use on all types of fire, are electrically non-conductive and especially effective against the most common types of fire. They're extremely lightweight and easy to carry. And most critical of all, ceasefires ABC extinguishers are unquestionably reliable. In the midst of a fire crisis, ceasefire will not let you down. This day, the fire is the last day of the fire. The fire is the last day of the fire. The fire is the last day of the fire. आज हमारी स्टार्ट हुई थी यहाँ पे हमारे इस एयर कंडीशन के पाइप है वहाँ से शॉर्ट सर्किट आग लगना चालू हुआ था और वो आग इतनी जल्दी से फैल गई और हम लोग ऊपर ताक के आए तो देखा तो यहाँ पे आग लगी हुई थी ऊपर आके देखे तो आग कंट्रोल होने का कोई चांस नहीं था मगर सामने सीज फायर पड़ा हुआ था हमारे पास हमने सीधा ये सीज फायर यहाँ से उठाया और तीन मिनट के अंदर हमारी आग पूरी कंट्रोल हो गई एक डर तो काफी लग गया था कि मेरी दुकान गई अभी सीज फायर ने हमारा दुकान ये बचा दिया और पांच साल तक कोई महंगा इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं है चाके खर्चे से भी कम है। Let me conclude this section of our presentation by leaving you with one last thought. With every ceasefire extinguisher you buy, you also buy into an extensive bank of information and training, and a guarantee that your equipment will be serviced by the very experts who designed it. And this is what we call ceasefire integrated services. These training and maintenance components of Ceasefire's offerings are comprehensive and no compromise. If you would like to know more about either of these aspects of Ceasefire's integrated services or explore Ceasefire's other product offerings, simply pick from the menu that now follows and the Ceasefire representative will play your chosen segment for you. Thank you.